Hi, today we want to make a, a little utility here to convert some kind of um, data into others and taken from uh, a um, taken from uh, one of these data here. Let's suppose that we have, let's say, this kind of data here where I have my data separated by these three uh, lines and I want to transform it into something different, something like um, this where the first item is up here and follow it by the other and then it is separated by an empty line. So let's see how to convert it and uh, let's create a kind of code here to convert it. So first of all we are going to take all the data into um, a list and so we will do it. Uh, first of all I want to make um, an interface in particular SDK then I want to create a window with this class of TK Enter and at the end I want to put the main loop and then here I wanted to get all the, the files I I could also use from the Kinter import message box and and then I can do file um, equal message box uh, dot or making it dialog let me check one moment uh, dialog box to kinter Let's use file dialog. Okay. File file dialog. And so now I have built a list for each type. And this will ask the user to open a file dialog, I think. Sorry, this is application window. getting port OS. Okay. Now what I want to do is to uh, I want to have this file that I called linear
Let me see why I can't. This is better, I think. And remember to put root here. Okay, now it get me all the files or just this one. This one is what I want. And then we want to print the file, print the file. Well, we don't want all the files. Oh, we better put it here as a second option. Okay, and this is our file. Now, um, we want to open answer, let's say answer, and uh, as file, and file dot read lines so let's see file what it is okay I'm gonna open it and this is our file divided into this thing another thing that we want to do is to open it in reading mode and uh, encoding equal utf8 so that it is not there is no strange character inside and uh, let me convert all the indentation to spaces okay uh, now that we've done this one thing that I want to do is to get rid of that and Okay, and there is always uh, there is another way to avoid seeing the window. Let me see how to avoid it. Withdraw, there it is. So, withdraw. Let's hide this. What's okay? Now we don't see the window anymore. Okay, and uh, now we don't want to print a file, we just want that for line in file uh, want to have file2 equal an empty line, line for line in file file2 dot append line dot split this two thing here and then we want to print file 2 to see what we have okay now we have them divided and now we are almost 
we have almost what we want. So we wanted to um, let me check again. Okay, these are into lists. I could make different things and I could make uh, yeah, the simplest thing I can make is to for let me see for um for um, cool that is question in in file two um, print with an asterisk q separated by a something like this and let's go sep is not defined okay sep equal okay so I think I got what I wanted here uh, I converted that kind of data into this one the last thing that I can do it's probably let me close all this window save it as my desired file so <coughs> so I can go and do instead of this each text text plus equal cool let's see what we get text okay these are um, text plus equal for Q yeah yeah and now for um, item in Q text plus equal E and then okay So we need let me see if this works. Yeah. Think it can go. There are just a couple of lines here that may be okay, and so we had, we had open let me see which answer but I wanna get rid of the last dot L E N N A six characters so yeah and plus I wanna call it with dot quits at the end and I want to write into the file and coding maybe equal utf8 as um, file file.write text and then I want to also open it to see what we get open this thing this thing here System St 
because I think there is the yes doesn't let me see if this is this works well the file is here so it worked I just don't understand here why it won't start I see system okay because there is not a it's not a standard file so Mm, let me just call it quits for this time. There it is. Okay. So this is our code to convert the initial data here that is in a different format. Okay, this format into the new format that is this one. So that is all and see you next time. Okay, and just to say it to so see I'm I thought to another way to do this converse converse con, conversion and I could have done another thing. One as once I open here this file instead of this thing here I could have done maybe an easier stuff I could have done um, text equal file okay here instead of this I could have done red and then here replace one two three into a simple dash n that's this and again go and you see there is the same result the only thing that I'm missing is another n here right and And let me check out I, I can okay I can do this simply I can do this one dash n with the with the double dash n and then this and then run it go get it no it doesn't work yet why Okay, maybe let me print this print file here. Let's see what we get. Text equal. Okay, I guess this is the mistake that I was making. Okay, now you see. I get everything is perfect and maybe this is better than the other the other way it's easier and pretty it. Thank you and see you next time. Hi, today I want to show you this simple script um, where you can make a presentation in JavaScript but using Python and let's see how it works here is the the html code and as i did in other post i uh, just substitute something here with this tag 
as you can see here here uh, we need to put the content of the slides of our presentation and but I um, used uh, to wrap this code HTML code and JavaScript code into a Python code so that I write into this the, uh, the text and each uh, line uh, is a slide then I will replace this, um, these uh, lines here into the uh, slide tag here that I made inside of the HTML code and then after I replace it I save it and I show it and there is always a little window in, made with the Kinter that will ask you to um, write the name of your code so here is the window and you just write um, business something like you press enter and here you have your presentation that is quite simple very simple very also nice you can uh, for uh, it is just in a form on HTML page with this kind of slides here you can make some changes if you prefer to to see it to show it in a different way but this is the um, the basic of these uh, text so very easy to do just put your um, your text your slides in each line inside of this and then press and mm, run the program write here the name of your program press enter and it will show up your file and your presentation so I hope you like it and see you next time